What's up beautiful people and happy new year. My name is Sable and welcome to my channel Curls of a CPA where I take you all my perfectly imperfect dirty and today we gonna get into this product haul. Yes, I bought some stuff, not a lot, but I did purchase some things for Black Friday and I also got some stuff in like November, December that I haven't shared with you guys yet. We have a variety of things to go through today. Of course, we have some hair products, we have some body products, we got some presents that I received. <laughs> presents, presents, everyone loves presents, everyone in his or her own way. <laughs> And then also some miscellaneous things that have just helped improve my life just a little bit. Per usual, links to everything that I mentioned will be down in the description box. I also have some coupon codes for you guys, so I'll put them down below as well. Even if you don't buy anything, clicking the links helps to support my channel. And so do with that what you wish. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and that you punch the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And that's it, y'all. Let's just get into it. So first up, let's talk about something that I've got back there. So let me go get it. Ugh. These were sent to me as a gift from Rose Forever. They are a New York based company. And I've actually seen a couple of my faves. I'm sure you've seen a couple of your faves. Be gifted these roses. They're basically supposed to last like a year if you take good care of them. By taking good care of them, it means not touching them and not having them like in direct sunlight. But y'all, I need to show y'all how I struggled to unbox these roses. All right, so they, this box was well taped up. Excuse my ashy hands. Is there more tape? How do you open this? Oh, there we go. Ooh, my flowers. The way that they packaged these roses, I mean, not a petal, was harmed in the process of it being shipped from New York to Maryland, okay? Once I selected the roses that I wanted, the delivery was so fast, okay? Like, it was really fast. And they've been in business since 2019. The roses are all natural, the, the bouquets are handmade, and they actually ship worldwide. I just picked the black round box and the ivory flowers because it matches the aesthetic of our apartment. I mean, it's been on my shelf for the last month and it just kind of fits in to whatever's going on back there. And I, like I said, I've had them for a month and they look basically the same as when they first were delivered. And so you're probably wondering how in the world these flowers gonna last a whole year. I don't know what kind of science experiment they are doing up there, but on their website, they mentioned that they use natural oils to preserve the flowers. So they don't, they don't use any chemicals and it's actually allergen free. I have allergies and the roses have not bothered me. When you smell them, it has a little, like, you know how roses smell? You can kind of smell that, but it's not strong at all. Like I have not smelled them. Um, please don't spray them because if you spray them with anything, it will definitely lessen the life shelf life <laughs> of the roses. They come in a, a variety of different colors. You can get different sizes, like with the boxes and stuff like that. You can even get like a little crystal box that has like, you can put your jewelry in it or whatever. So there are a ton of options on their website. I'll put a link down below in the description box so you can click on that and just explore. Um, and then also they gave me a little coupon code. So if you use Sable 15, you can save 15 Zolas, all right? But let me know down below if you guys have any questions. I think that is all I I had to say about the roses. I've been enjoying them. And like I said, they've just kind of fit right into our like apartment decor. So I'm gonna put it right back. Ooh, ow, just hurt my knee. Oh. Next, we're gonna talk about another gift that I was sent. And I'm loving these practical gifts. It's beautiful. I was sent this premium leather bag from Teddy Blake. <laughs> and on the inside, it is red, which is actually one of my favorite colors. And it's like a red velvet. It feels really, really good. And y'all, when I tell you unboxing this bag was an experience, it was an experience. Like I opened like, you know, the box that it was shipped in. And as soon as I opened it up and I saw what was in it, I said, oh no, 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 I have to film this unboxing. It's giving luxury, okay? <laughs> So their bags are actually made in Italy with premium Italian leather. And they use the 
same materials as all the other luxury brands. So you get that same like quality and durability of a luxury brand, but at a fair price. And the dope thing about Teddy Blake is that they don't have that, those crazy markups that you would have on like a very expensive bag because of course, most of the time those markups are because of the brand name, all right? And so you get that luxury, durable, you know, timeless piece but without having to spend like a ton of coin. They also create new collections on a monthly basis. And so if you go to their website and you're like, I don't see nothing I want, you know, your dream bag may be in the lab, all right? <laughs> so I'll make sure to put a link down in the description box so you guys can go explore their website. They have a ton of different styles and they also have a variety of colors. Now, the reason why I picked this bag is because I kind of needed something to bring to church. Most of my bags are like, laptop bags that I bring that I bring to work. And I mean, um, we've been in a panorama, so I haven't really been going anywhere, but we started to go t in person to church and I realized that my bag was not pretty, okay? And so I picked this one because I feel like I could bring this to work and, you know, out and about. And most importantly, you know, it's nice enough that I could bring to church. And also guys, it's like the medium size. They do have a tote that I really want because I like the, the the strap of a tote. This is like a handbag. This ain't going on my shoulder. It's not. <laughs> it's not going on my shoulder. But they do come with like a strap and it's strong enough to hold the bag up. And then also it comes like with this so you can make the bag you know, smaller, or if you want it to be tote like, it'll go out like this. And I mean, it's big enough that it fits my laptop. I have the 13 inch MacBook, and I can also fit my, um, what's it called? My camera and stuff in here, and then also like a water bottle, you know, so like it, it can hold a good amount of stuff. And this joint is heavy too. Like by itself, it's heavy, so you can tell that it's like truly you know, durable and it's high quality. When I opened the box, I smelled the leather. I was like, okay, this is real. <laughs> this is real, yes. I also like that it has like actual parts that zip so I can put things that I don't want to fall out like in these little pouches. And they're pretty big and spacious too. Like I can fit a ton of stuff in it and not feel like I am limited with space. And so I've really been enjoying um, carrying this bag all around. I made sure that for the last two weeks, I have been carrying it everywhere, okay? Even if it didn't match my outfit, I was bringing it everywhere and I've been able to put all the unnecessary things that I like to bring around in the bag. And yeah, I've been, it's been nice. The only thing that I wish, of course, is that the, the, the straps were something I could put on my shoulder because I typically that's how I wear my bags on my shoulder. Or if I'm like traveling, I'll put it like over the, you know, my carry on. So that's why my next bag I'm getting is their tote bag. It comes in the same material and other materials. And of course it's the red inside, which I really like. <laughs> I'll put the link down in the description box below. The details to my specific bag. And then also the details to the one I'm getting next. And like I said, they always have nice sales going on. And so you won't be disappointed. All right, so this has all of the skincare, feminine hygiene, health stuff in it. I'm just gonna take things out of the box as I feel them in no particular order. So I think I know what this is, yes. Fenty, okay. Half of 2020, half of 2021, I was using Fenty skin products and I really like them. I miss the smell. I finished everything, like every yeah, everything is done. And so I kind of miss them. I miss the smell, I miss the experience. And so I re-upped on that. So from Fenty's website, I got the cleanser and then I got the refill for the Hydrovisor, which is a moisturizer slash SPF. And the first, at first when I was using the SPF, I didn't really like it. Like I felt like I kind of looked greasy, <laughs> but as I, I guess, learned how to use it, I started to like it. So if you guys are interested in seeing like a skincare routine of me using these Fenty products, let me know. And I'll show you what the, like the refill looks like. I don't gotta do that now. Just let me know if y'all want a skincare video and I'm gonna do that. But this is what I got from Fenty directly. And then Sephora was having a sale, which I told y'all about. So if you're not if you're not subscribed to my channel and you don't have that bell hit, you missing out on the sale announcements, all right? 
whenever there's a nice little sale, I announce it on the community tab. And so Sephora was having a sale on their sale items. And so I got this, it's like a little kit. It has the Fenty toner, the, which is called Fat Water. Then they have the, Inst, the Instant Reset, which is their night cream. Um, and this is like their lip product. And so I got this, but then I ended up getting two because the night cream was like the small one. And then of course, I'm, I will go through lip stuff fast. And I really like their toner. And so I just got two of them just to have. And then I also got their Body Duo. This is their body scrub, mini body scrub, and their like um, whipped body or cream or whatever. And I got two of these as well because they're small. And I'm like, if I like it, it's gonna finish and I ain't gonna have no more. And it was like, because it's a bundle, it was on sale. And then because it was the bundle was on sale, it was sale, sale, so yes. <laughs> and I'll show you how small they are. So this is the buffer. This is like a like skin exfoliant. And then, ooh. And then here is the body butter. Yeah, so yeah, I can bring this with me, like the body butter. I'll see how long it lasts. And if it lasts me like a week or something, I could bring it when I travel. Yeah, because I'll be traveling soon. And then I'm also thinking about getting, they have a new product. It's like a, um, it's like a, an exfoliant. It has like the A-A-H-H-A, what, A-H-A's? I can't even talk. <laughs> That's the Caribbean in me. I couldn't even say, hey, A-H-A's, hey. You you know what I'm talking about, but it's like a, like a mini facial. I really want to try that. Um, but I've been debating whether or not to get it. I think I might wait until it's on sale. If I don't, I'll let you know. But yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do like a Fenty skin, you know, day and I got you. All right, next I got some stuff from Flamingo. Um, I've been using Flamingo razors and shaving cream for like a while now. Um, and they have like a script subscription. I usually get it from Target, but they have a subscription. And I think I, I like the subscriptions because I always forget to get razors. And then when I'm ready to film a video, I'm like, okay, I look like a werewolf. Cause I mean, I'm, I'm just a hairy person. <laughs> We're just gonna put that out there. And so um, I just like to have it delivered to my house because I be forgetting. Um, and so I'll show you what the razors look like. I have a, an open one in the bathroom. Um, but I'll just show you. So it comes like this. Um, and they, and for the subscription, it's based on how often you shave. So you just let them know how often, and then you can pick the amount of cartridges you want. And so you just take the little stick and then it comes out. And this is actually a new like design they have. And at first when I used it, I actually didn't like it. Like I was like, this is feeling really elementary. But what I noticed about it is that I didn't cut myself. I'm always rushing when I'm shaving. And so I need something that will prevent me from cutting myself. And this does a really good job of that. And it gives you, it gives me a nice little shave. So I alternate between this and the hairy um, cartridges. And I haven't decided which one I like better. <laughs> so I just use both. Apparently they're the same company. The design of their razors is just a little different. I find that I cut myself a little more with the hairy razors though. So that's why I gravitate towards these. And of course they're made for women, you know. And then it also came with shaving cream, which I really like. I use this whether I'm using the hairy razor or the flamingo razor. I really like their shaving cream. Now I do like the hairy shaving cream, but I need them to come out with the unscented version because I cannot take the smell. It's, it's just too strong. So if you're watching, let your girl know when you got the unscented version. Or even if you just have a, a sweeter version, I will do that, but that joint is strong, okay? Next, what do we have? Since we're talking about the body, let's get into that feminine hygiene, all right? So my, I have used many uh, feminine washes. I've used Honey Pot, I've used the L, I think that's what it's called, but nothing, nothing has been able to top this good, clean, love, balanced, feminine wash, pH balanced. It's made with like aloe. I absolutely love this stuff. Especially if you're sensitive down in the nether regions, you will love this. I also have like a mild case of, um, what's it, HS? I'll put the whole name on the screen. And whenever I have a flare up, 
this is amazing amazing it helps with like odor it helps with um like keeping you nice and what's it called um i'm not gonna say moist <laughs> not moist but just not dry yes and so i really like it and it doesn't have any like fragrances it's super clean and it's like a very liquidy um it's a liquidy form formula but as soon as it comes in contact to your wet skin it like you get the suds so i really love this you get a lot of it and it lasts a long time and then i absolutely love their wipes Oh my goodness. So I originally got their, um, like the little individual ones. Let me show you what it looks like. <sighs> yes, so that's what I, I got originally. And then they came out with the one that is like, it got like, how much is in here? I don't know how much is in here. 30, it's 30 in here. I really like them. They are huge. Like they're, the wipes are big. They're durable, so when you're using them, they're not gonna like break apart in your hand. Like, and they really, really give you a nice clean. Now, you're not supposed to flush them, but sometimes I do, cause ew. <laughs> if you live somewhere where your your plumbing is not that great, there is another brand that has this, it's like called Good Wipes that I really like. They have a like a shea and aloe or something, something. It, they have one that is really, really good. I'll put a link to that one down in the description box if you need a wipe that is flushable. Um, but if you don't mind, this this is this, I love it. And I feel I feel so fresh after using it. Like it's great. It's really great. And they deliver pretty quickly. So yes, highly recommend you giving good clean love a try. And they also have things for grown grown up people things, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, for married people things. They had that stuff too. Yes, so check them out. All right, next let's talk vitamins. I briefly talked about vitamins in my chit chat video. If you haven't seen that video and you like long chit chats, I'll put that in the cards. So you can check that out and you know, in the description box. Um, and so, I, I told y'all that I was waiting for my nutritionist to give me the okay of what vitamins I can take, and I will let you know what we decided on. <laughs> well, what she decided on, and I'm trying to comply with. Okay, so first of all, come on home with the packaging. It's so cute. And they also give you like little, a little pan, ooh. They also give you like little instructions in here to tell you how to take your vitamins, which is so nice. Okay, all right, so I'll share the ones that I'm not taking first. I'm not taking the hair vitamins yet. <laughs> We're just trying to get my like my levels together first. And so I'm not taking anything extra. I'm just taking what my body needs at the moment. Um, but I do have their hair gummies. I also have Private Party, which is supposed to help with like your urinary tract health and all that stuff. Um, I also have Gut Instinct. This is like a probiotic supposed to help with digestion. And these were sent to me by the company, but those are the ones I'm actually not taking right now. And they also sent me two other ones that I actually am taking. The first one is Flatter Me, and this is supposed to help with digestion and bloating and stuff like that. And then I'm also taking Here Comes the Sun. This is vitamin D3. Um, and of course, like many, like many people who live in the Northeast, you know, we don't get a lot of sun. <laughs> and so I am vitamin D deficient. And so I have to take vitamin D. And then when I bought with my own coin, I got two of their base control. Other one is over there. And I bought another Here Comes the Sun because I actually switched vitamins. I'm no longer taking ritual vitamins just because I've been taking them for like a year and change and my vitamin D levels are still really low, even though it has the amount that I need. And we're just switching it up just to kind of get me some more nutrients. Um, because with hum, you can kind of build the regimen that you need, which is one of the reasons I like them. And so for me, my regimen is taking the base control, which has like 22 vitamins and minerals and it has iron and calcium which the Ritual Ones does not have. And then of course I got my vitamin D. 
And so these are the ones that my nutritionist is require, requiring me to take. And then this is kind of like, uh, you can take it, but you don't have to take it. So, but I am taking it. <laughs> Cause I find that it does, it has been helping with the bloating that I ha was experiencing. So yes, I will leave a link to all of these vitamins down in the description box and I will specify the ones that I'm taking right now. But so far my body has been enjoying the, the change. So yeah. And I've been taking it for basically a month now. Yeah, it's been a month. Has it been a month? Maybe almost a month. It's been like 20 days. <laughs> yes, and then I have enough vitamins for this month and then they do like a subscription so you can have it like delivered or whatever on like a consistent basis. And so, yeah, I really, I have been enjoying it. And I also have this cute like pill organizer. I did not get this during Black Friday or anything. I actually bought this in October when I went to Jamaica um, and I just needed something to carry all my stuff. Look at this, this is just so nice. I don't remember if I showed it to you guys or not, but I actually love it. I love that it has a mirror. What I do when I'm traveling or when I'm going to the office, I'll put all my vitamins for the day inside of here and it's just easier for me to remember. I look at the day, I'm good to go. So I have really been enjoying using this. I will put a link down in the description box for you. Love this. I know my, my husband made fun of me. He was calling me an old person because I have it, but at least I don't forget to take my medicine. <laughs> Next, I'm trying something a little different, y'all. So let's talk about Merit Cosmetics. Can we talk about the packaging? So in the box of the stuff that I ordered, all that came was the box and this card. Like, talk about minimalist. <laughs> and then it says, the antidote to the oversaturated world of beauty. That's what they're saying that they are. And it's merit, minimalist beauty. Okay, and so in here it says less is more. And because I purchased my stuff on the holiday, it came with this cute like makeup bag. Chat. Now, the reason why this is exciting is because I have never done my own makeup and I wanted to start a series on my channel where I try to do my own makeup. <laughs> but because my skin is really sensitive, I have to use clean products. So I did get some products in PR. I was able to pick some things I like and then I picked up some other things to just make it a complete face. All right, so the things that I got in PR were the Perfecting Complexion Stick in the color Sienna. This is what matched my skin the most. Come on, packaging. And then, so that's the color. So I feel like that matches my skin really nicely, see? Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Um, if not, you know, we live, we learn, we move on. Um, I also got in PR the Flush Balm, which is a like um, a balm, like blush. <laughs> I actually haven't opened this yet, so let's see what it looks like. It's like burgundy. Let's take it out of the packaging. Cause, ooh, that's pretty. All right, and then the other thing that I got as a gift was their Shade Slick, which is like a tinted lip gloss. Now, this was not the color that I picked. I actually picked the clear one, um, but this is taupe. So I'm guessing the person who put the package together was like, oh, she gonna like this. But it wasn't exactly what I wanted, <laughs> but I'll try it. I'm, you know, I'm not too picky, especially because it was a gift. So but what I ended up buying myself is I got the the lip gloss that I wanted, um, which was the clear, and this one's called Bel Air. I also got a lighter complexion stick so I could highlight. <laughs> yeah, girl, and this one is in the shade Buff. Let me open it up so you guys can see. And I also got Clean Lash. It's supposed to be a clean uh, mascara. And like I said, my skin is sensitive, my eyes are sensitive, and so I was like, you know, Clean, sign me up. And then I also got their Day Glow. It's a highlighting balm. It, listen, I don't know much about makeup, but what I do know is I love a good highlighter. That's what it looks like. This packaging is so cute. And the last thing that I got was their brush. They have like this one brush. It's a blending brush. Ooh, this is so soft. Ooh. Yes. Love it. And so, yeah, that's 
that's what I'm working with. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. So this little series should be hilarious. Um, if you guys have any favorite clean beauty brands that you love, let me know in the comments and I might give it a try. So now I'm just putting everything into my little, my little makeup bag. Okay. Boom. And it's just so cute. <laughs> love that for me. Yes, so. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, 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 I gave my life to show you that I love you more than you let them know. I also have some miscellaneous things. I got this as a gift um, from the stuff that I got at Sephora. This is a bio, bio sans squalene and marine algae eye cream. I've never tried anything from this brand, but it was a free gift. And it was the one thing I that looked the best out of the free gifts. Um, so it's really small. This is a packaging, it's so cute. Let's see what it smells like. It smells like nothing, that's a good sign. <laughs> I don't know how my, my skin will react to new fragrances, but love that for me. And then I also got um, Tabitha Brown's book, Feeding the Soul. This was actually a gift, an Amazon gift thing from my job and I purchased this with that. And you'll see the other things that I got later on in the video. I'll put the Amazon link down in the description box just in case you wanna get it for yourself. Yeah, I'm excited to read this. Hello, Voice Over Sable here reporting for duty. So we're gonna stop right here because I have a ton of hair products to talk about and I'll be announcing my giveaway winners in my next video and also my 6K giveaway. Shh. And so make sure that you're subscribed to my channel that you punch the bell so you're notified when part two goes live. More than likely, it'll be tomorrow. So you don't have to wait long, but that's it for this video. Per usual, I'll put some videos on the screen for your viewing pleasure. I'll put my last like wash or style video up here. And then down here, I'll put my product haul playlist. That way when part two goes live, it'll just be added to the playlist and you'll be able to watch it. Until next time guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you peace, love, and good product junkie vibes. <laughs> Bye guys, see you in the next one.